kind of unexpected, but Drake has just released a new project. I don't know, I thought he was having like stomach issues or something, but in today's one, I thought I would try to make a beat in the start of his new EP, Scary Hours 3. I think my favorite tracks on the project are the final two, with one of them featuring J. Cole. So I'm going to use those as my reference. So I'm going to change the BPM to like roughly 78 BPM. And I'm just assuming I'm going to be working like double time. So that's roughly like... Wait, what's 78 times 2? 156? Yeah, I knew, I knew that. Um, and in regards to melody, it uses a lot of brass instrumentation, so a lot of orchestral sounds. And while I could program that myself, I did a lot of penciling in in the last video. I kind of want to do No Thoughts Head Empty for this one. And for that, I think I'm just going to whip out Splice. And I think I'm just going to look up brass vintage samples or something. <laughs> I think we might be in the right pack. Okay. All right, we found it. <laughs> okay, something's very wrong because that was way too easy. The sample does sound pretty cold, but I am noticing a bass guitar in there. So I'm just going to extract the stems from sample and I'm going to separate the bass and the rest of the instruments. Keep it to one side for now because I might use it somewhere in the arrangement later on. I like when you remove the bass guitar, you can hear all of the strings. And I think it even sounds like some muted trumpets in there as well, which is quite nice. I think before I add anything else, I'm going to add some effects to this. I wanted to make it sound a bit more vintage, so I didn't really add anything too crazy. What I might do though to imitate some sort of sample chop sound is that I might open up Fruity Slicer, and then of course I'll increase the pitch by roughly 200 cents, and I might mess with the sample chops a little bit just to add some variety. I think the only issue I really have is that because of the muted trumpets, the melody sounds very thin. So I'm going to want to widen it a little bit. And for that, I'm going to add some backing vocals. I don't really know how they're going to sound with the melody though, but we'll just see. Okay. Okay, so this one works. What about the other one? What I'm probably going to do is alternate them between like verses and hooks. Can't really play these two together because they occupy the same frequencies, but that's fine. Like we can fix that in the mix. Next thing to do is sort out a bass line. So I'm going to open up my favorite bass guitar and I'm actually going to clone the VST because that way I can have one instance playing staccato and the other one playing sustained. <laughs> I think that sounds similar enough to the original bass line. I'm going to humanize it though and add a bit of staccato because it sounds way too robotic right now. Okay, I think I like the back and forth that's going on between those two. So I think real quick what I'm going to do is mix up all of the melodic elements and then I can add some drums.
Alright, that snare is way too thin for me, so I think I'm gonna layer it with two more. Man, this snare pattern is so complex. Anyway. got to be the simplest beat I've made in quite some time. I'm concerned that the vibe is a bit too upbeat for the reference track. Like some of the lyrics on the reference track just do not fit this style at all. So the only thing I have left to do really is mix and arrange everything and then we can listen to the final beat. I think I have a final mix and arrangement for the beat. Very complex arrangement. Like you're probably wondering how I came up with this. Oh my god. And as mentioned before as well, I did alternate the different backing vocals so they don't clash together. I did try playing them together with one pan to the left and one pan to the right, but it just didn't sound correct to me. Regardless, I did also add an a cappella from the reference track. I haven't listened to it with the beat yet i've just time stretched it to 78 bpm and as i said before i don't think the beat really matches the vibe of the track but i do want to give it a listen so i'm going to see what it sounds like now yeah i got some evil ways even through the glasses you can see the gaze to find your way up to the top shit gonna be a maze volkswagen shit the way i'm running beatles plays yeah and we link it like we free the slaves I conquered hell, I walked the veil and set my feet ablaze My heart hardens every year like sneakers that Adidas made I never did the VMAs, I'm not in need of praise All praise to the born sinners Jesus saves My brother's running through the six like the Green Berets Beefing with a block that's 500 feet away Wheel of Fortune shit the way they say they need a K Nah, I only need a raise And a safe to stash these Frito-Lays Times is hard, I watch my mama robbing bar just to get Peter paid And now my paper folded like when teachers don't want classmates to see a grade Time is speeding, now I see the grades poking out this beard But it's weird cause I feel like I ain't even aged I seize the rays, feet firmly planted for these precious flowers I've been handed, watch me be the vase Man, I'm living out Carlito's way You niggas ain't getting no bread, you in a keto phase Wisdom coming out my mouth like some teething pain my whip used to have the seat displays with smack deep if there's anything I've learned from Drake albums this year, especially the simple stuff just really works. I think the beat sounds pretty good with the acapella though. I think listening to it back, the snare sounds a bit too loud, so I'm gonna correct that. And I may change the volumes of some of the backing vocals, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. This might actually be a shorter video than usual because this beat is just so simple. But regardless, once again, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. I'm gonna play the final beat real quick and we can see what I can do better for next time.